Hey everybody, it's Ramadan. Let's round up. It's Ramadan roundup. It's Ramadan roundup. It's Ramadan roundup. Ramadan roundup with Ilya's ducks. Let's go. Order, order in the court. Today on the docket is the community versus Mr. Mean. Is the defendant Mr. Mean presiding here today? Yes, Your Honor. I am sitting right here next to you. Mr. Mean, sir, the community has charged you with multiple accounts of lying, deception, spreading rumors, trickery, hacking, and evading the authorities. All of this has allegedly occurred during the month of Ramadan. If found guilty, it carries a severe penalty. How would you like to plead, sir? Guilty or not guilty? I plead that I get to go home and take a bubble bath. Order, <laughs> order. There will be order in the court. Going home and taking a bubble bath is not an option for you at the moment, sir. You must plead guilty or not guilty. Well then, I plead not guilty. <laughs> That was easy. I'll be on my way now. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you very much. Bye now. Have a nice day. You will do no such thing in my courtroom, sir. Sit back down. You are on trial. Eh, how can this be a trial? I'm the only one here. Except for that person in the corner. What is she doing? Huh? Is she typing what I'm saying? She is. Every time I talk, she types. And when I don't talk, ah, uh, what is this? Why is she writing down everything I say? She's a stenographer, and it's her job to type everything that is said in this courtroom today. Because it's important that you have a fair trial. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that those who are fair and people who practice justice in all their matters will be given a special status and reward by Allah. So when she writes down everything, it will create a record. This will keep things fair by preventing any confusion later on about what was said here today. Now, please tell the court how you defend your alleged actions. I'm glad you asked, Judge Duck. I've actually been waiting to speak to you. No one else seems to want to listen to me. You see, everywhere I go, that Officer Duck follows me. I go to the park to eat my cookies, and there he is. I'm on video chat with my friends, and there he is again. Officer Duck even interrupted me in the middle of my show. He turned the lights off. How rude. As far as I'm concerned, he is the one that should be on trial, not me. Yes, we already have his testimony on record because it wouldn't be fair otherwise because we believe in standing for justice and fairness, even if it's against our own selves. Let's see. Ah, yes, we have Officer Duck's testimony right here. From his accounts in the park, you were trying to tempt the kids to eat cookies while they were fasting. Eh, cookies are an essential part of a nutritious meal, and my friends hadn't eaten anything all day. Eh, I was trying to be nice for once by making sure they remain healthy. Arr. They hadn't eaten all day because it says here that they were fasting. That's what Allah has asked them to do during the month of Ramadan. And fasting is Allah's way of giving us all sorts of healthy benefits that improve our mind, body, and soul. Tempting them is a gross violation of the laws of Ramadan. Well, what about the nice video conversation I was having with my friends, Elias and Duck? What's wrong with talking to your friends? But Officer Duck had to interrupt that, too. We just so happened to have video evidence from that call. Let's play it and see if we can identify the violation here. And it's a great timing, too, now that there's no more need to fast. We can all stop now. Enough days have passed. No more fasting. Eh, see? Once again, I was trying to be helpful, but does anyone realize that? No!
You told people that they can stop fasting. Well, they have to stop fasting at some point, don't they? Yes, but that video footage is from the tenth of Ramadan. Allah says to fast for the entire month of Ramadan, every day from dawn until sunset. It's an entire month of blessings, not just a part of it. Eh. Uh, okay. So I was off a few days. I'll work on my math skills. Eh.、Uh, now that's not a crime, is it? No, that's not a crime, Mr. Mean. But it's clear from all the evidence that has been presented here today that you were trying to mislead the kids, and that is a violation in Ramadan. Well, what about the time when Officer Duck rudely interrupted my very first show? Surely you can't let him get away with that. The only thing I see that Officer Duck interrupted was you sharing fake news about Ramadan conspiracy theories. You were saying things based on false claims. Eh, the AAW, Adult Association of the World, is real. I've seen their members in the park walking their dogs and talking quietly to each other. Very suspicious. You should look into that. Look here, Mister Mean. The only thing we're looking into right now are your actions over the course of the entire month of Ramadan. The evidence is clearly against you, but you continue to argue it otherwise. Hmm. Reminds me of what Allah says in the Quran. We have surely set forth in this Quran every kind of lesson for people, but humankind is the most argumentative of all beings. Typically, your conduct would result in a severe punishment, but I don't think that will help change your behavior for the better. Great, then we're done here.、Mm. Not quite. I have another idea. I'm sentencing you to community service. Eh, oh, but I already did community service with Fireman Duck. No, I want you to do community service specific to Ramadan, and since the holiday of Eid al-Fitr is now upon us, I want you to work with our friends Ilyas and Duck and give a wonderful Eid Mubarak greeting to the whole community. You mean to tell me that all I have to do is say a few words and I'm off scot free? No more punishment? <laughs> Well, yes, but I have to warn you that it might not be as easy as you think. Because wishing someone Eid Mubarak means that you are wishing them a blessed celebration for a successful Ramadan and for all the goodness to come for the rest of the year, and it should come from the heart. Otherwise, we will have to give you regular punishment, and you definitely are not going to like that. No, 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 no need. This is easy. I can do it. Watch.、Uh, e- 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 huh? Huh? Mo- mo- e- What's happening? Hmm. Not so easy, is it? Perfect. This will be good for you. You will see, inshallah. Your heart will grow as a result. I know it. Now I want you to go home and practice. Then go to Ilyas and Duck's home tomorrow morning and work on that Eid greeting. Now I must go. My job is done. Assalamualaikum, everyone.、Uh, e-